go? Well, I think to be honest, um, I always had a really low threshold of doing things I don't want to do. And um, cool. I always, uh, knew, I always was, had a really strong will, I think. So that was the other thing. And um, however, so with me being in the closet for so long and really, I mean, looking back, I mean, I was into women when I was like 13 years old, you know, but I was so ashamed and, and just could not even fathom the idea that I would be with women. It was the, mm -hmm. Yeah. And so it took me a very, very long time. And so in combination with um, my low threshold and, and really only wanting to do things that I wanted to do, once I had my coming out, you know, at 26, so I have my 10 year anniversary this year. Oh, um, nice one. <laughs> I, um, I then, you know, once you, once I showed up for myself and once I said yes to myself to who I really am you know mm. um that gave me the confidence to fully embrace myself in all other areas of life yeah um and i wrote about this i think the other day actually in an instagram story it's like when you have as a gay person a queer person whatever and and you have your coming out it's i mean your sexual identity goes so deep right it's such a fundamental part of your identity and mm. who you are and so for me it was like once i came out with that it was like the floodgates opened and so for me to then do my own thing and start my own business and just follow, uh, follow my highest excitement really every day wasn't hard anymore because mm. the coming out, that was, that was the groundwork, you know? And before that, I mean, I just always, like I said, my, the main driver for me to do my own thing and travel the world and leave home so early was mainly because of the circumstances at home. And so that was that, I guess discomfort, that lack of um, connection and, and grounding really just pushed me, you know, further and further and um, to constantly be seeking novel experiences, to constantly be seeking these peak experiences and find my happiness in all these different places. Um, so all that is to say, it's it's been a quiet uh, interesting journey for sure. And I'm still now at 36 in the process of, you know, making sense of it all in a way and, and really looking at it from, wow, you know, what is this hero's journey? Um, and what is that medicine that I'm taking back? And I'm, I guess, still in the process of, um, looking into that, which is really fascinating with, you know, as, as I gain more awareness and consciousness and seeing how my life has come together in that way. And then also now, you know, with Corona times, yeah. maybe I'm a little bit all over the place with, with uh, explaining myself right now, but no, no, it's, really been, it's really been a, a coming home for me properly because I haven't spent this much time in my home country in many years. And I haven't, and yeah, just having spent two months with my family in, in the South of Germany was, was scary. And then, um, but also really, really healing because I really took the time to slow down and to connect to my home country, to the land, to also my family and, and to just, and be okay with it, you know, where I come from. Cause I always hated it. I always hated that yeah. town and I never, so, so that's been huge. And I'm, I, I almost feel like during this Corona crisis, I've been coming full circle with so many things. And so it's been actually really healing for me. And I would have never, ever, spent all this time here and gone through this if it, had, if it hadn't been for a corona. So 